Hey folks, it's Ben here. It's uh, January, winter in Wisconsin, and I'm uh, laying in my driveway right now for working on my truck project. Um, I've got just an old beater pickup truck here that what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to a plug-in hybrid pickup truck. So imagine a Chevy Volt that can haul firewood or tow a trailer, do some things like that. But uh, I don't have a budget for it. I don't have a workspace. So uh, here I am sitting in my driveway. But what I'm going to do today is I figured I can start working on getting the bed off because once I do that I can uh, better figure out where uh, where the motor is going to go. I can start seeing what space is available down under here for uh, where the batteries are going to go and start figuring a few things out. So while I'm working for some other parts of this project to come together, at least I can do this. So uh, let's take a look here. So on the back I've got the uh, truck jacked up. Now the engine is out. The drive shaft is disconnected. It's just laying right there. There you can see uh, the drive shaft, uh, where, where the drive shaft would go to the differential, the gas tank. But uh, right above there, whew, that looks like some good spot to place some batteries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for all these points like this right here that are uh, bolts that connect the uh, the bed to the frame. I'm going to hit those with some uh, PB blaster, let them soak, penetrate oil, and uh, get those out of there so I can work on getting this uh, truck bed off. Once I do that, I can start figuring out where the motor's going to go and how I'm going to attach it in there. Now, besides the bolts that hold the bed down to the truck, I'm also going to have to uh, open up the filler. It's got a uh, number of screws that hold that onto the bed and some smaller screws in here so I'll have to take that out and uh, in fact I may end up completely removing the tank because uh, since this is going to run on diesel, biodiesel and vegetable oil uh, and diesel has a different size uh, spout than gasoline so you can't uh, as easily accidentally put one in the wrong tank. I might take this off here maybe I put a J1772 plug here and then I do some sort of like a small in bed uh, aftermarket tank uh, 10 gallons or less for my diesel fuel. So that's it. I'm just chipping away at this project, uh, getting done what I can as I can, as I can afford to, as I have time for it. Uh, please swing on by 300mpg.org and check out updates. Um, not everything I do on this has a video, but if you swing by my blog, you can see uh, what's the latest going on on my do-it-yourself plug-in hybrid pickup truck project. Hey folks, it's uh, an hour, maybe two, since the last little chunk of video that I shot, but I got the bed off the truck, and you're probably seeing it back there and saying, uh, Ben, it's still on the truck. Well, that's because I don't have three friends over here with me to lift it off right now, but I assure you, it is no longer connected to the frame of the vehicle, and to prove it, um, I've got the, uh, the bolts right here. So, all that was holding uh, everything onto that bed was eight 15 millimeter bolts. So I got all those out of there. I pulled the gas cap uh, filler neck stuff off and the wire harness that connects to the lights in the back, I got that off. And the thing I didn't think about until after I was trying to lift the bed up was uh, that weird little thingamajigger for raising and lowering the spare tire. And of course that thing never works anyways. But if you look, um, I've got the entire bed just uh, lifted up a bit by two by fours right now. Uh, just so it's spaced out and down here you can see the mounts where uh, the bed originally mounted on there. So uh, next time I get a couple of friends over here we can lift the bed off and I can start working underneath there and figuring out where uh, batteries, the electric motor, all those components are going to go. Maybe I can even get the gas tank off here. But uh, yay, I'm excited just because I'm freezing cold and yet I still managed to get something done. So the snowball is rolling. See you next time.